Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the importance of having your sort of man managers, senior engineers overlooking your work and making sure that they teach you stuff. A little bit of backstory before I fully go into it. Um, I've got a project and we have been tasked to design check or assess the existing roof structure of a sort of five or six storey building because they want to put this new GRP shed on top of the roof basically. So I'm going to be there, go to site, measure stuff um, and then check the existing roof steel work to make sure they can support the weight and then I'll also, also be designing this steel, gr gr steel grillage which will be bolted in place to the existing steel work and then they can house this GRP shed. Now the issue with this GRP shed is it's meant to be designed by the subcontractor but this subcontractor doesn't carry any sort of design liability at all and the client the contractor main contractor wanted me to add the design of this GRP shed to my proposal and I basically thought back I was like well I'm not doing this because you know they fit in supply they bring in all these materials. I have no idea what the connection details are. They don't supply any drawings. So basically, <laughs> you want me to create a design for someone else's product, which I just wasn't gonna do because there's so many variables to it. And the worst thing was about this GRP shed supply was <laughs> they just didn't have any details or drawings when I asked for it, um, because I was kind of doing my due diligence. They were doing me these like really, really crappy hand sketches. Um, which was a bit of an alarm bell for me but my client the main contractor was just kept on hounding me asking if I could do this um, basic calculation for them just to get it to pass and then make it move forward but you know I'm not prepared to do that it's based they're asking me to put my design liability my insurance onto someone else's design I have no idea what details they've done how can anyone possibly do this so eventually I fall back and I'm not the one to design it and they got another structure engineering firm which is fine because I don't want anything to do it. I'm going to design the steel bridge, I'm going, to, I'm going to assess the existing structure and that's it. That's my remit. Everything else, you supply me information, the wind loading, whatever, and I could factor it into my grillage, my steel design grillage, but that's it. So eventually got another structure engineering firm to do this design justification and they send it over to me and it's an absolute budget calc. It's so bad and it's I can tell it's been designed by a graduate and I'll show you the calcs <laughs> and they're, they're so so budget it's got no introduction, no explanation, the calculations doesn't really cover what I would deem a pass in terms of justifying this GRP shared. All they've done is just check some bolts, like it's got nothing to do with the materials, nothing to do with the overall building. They did a wind load assessment, but overall the calculation was shit, basically. Now, I'm not gonna blame the graduate, and it's pretty obvious that a young graduate has done this, because it's it's just really obvious. Um, but it's been approved and signed off by you know, an associate director, associate engineer, someone very experienced. And I know who this person was, and he sat as the chairman of the ice truck team, which actually pisses me off even more. So I know this person is very senior, obviously ice truck team chartered, so he knows the steps that the importance of doing good calculations, explaining your steps, you know, explaining your assumptions. But the calculation that they've done is clearly not really been checked, and is clearly not being fed through to the young graduate engineer and that is what annoys me the most about this kind of situation i'm reading through this calculation and i was like and i'm thinking this calculation in a way has got nothing to do with me anymore but i'm checking it and, it, and it's just really annoying me the fact that you've got a senior you know very senior engineer with years of experience not teaching not showing the gra young graduate how to do a proper calculation, what it needs to go into the calculation. You know, it's just nothing. The calculation is so bare and so basic, and it doesn't really justify anything. 
other than a few bolts, but there's, there's just nothing to it. And in, in my opinion, any experienced engineer worth their soul should be guiding the young engineers because eventually they're the ones who are going to be brought up. And if they don't learn the basics early on, that's going to be, you know, that's going to be a detriment to a young engineer now in a few years time because they haven't learned the due process on how to write a good calculation, what assumptions they need to do. And they're kind of just writing, you know, a few bits and bobs here and then just sending it out, getting it approved. And then they start to think that they can just do small bits of calc to justify stuff like this. And, you know, they'd probably get away with it, but it's just not good practice and it's just not good for any young engineer. Any sort of young engineer worth the soul who wants to become better needs to learn from experienced engineers. And it's, you know, the duty, I think, of the experienced engineers to teach them. So this is why it's kind of really annoying that I've seen this extremely experienced engineer not showing the graduate based on the stuff that they've issued out to the client, to me. It's just, it's just terrible work. And that has really, really annoyed me. And I think if you're in a position like a junior engineer, you should be asking your seniors for advice, help, making sure that you're getting the help you want. And if you're in a position where you've got young graduates beneath you, make sure you spend the time to ask them if they want any help. You know, making sure that they work, making sure, making sure that you're checking their work as well, even if they're not asking for it. It's your responsibility as a senior engineer to be checking their work because the graduates, they don't really know any better unless you kind of tell them. So it's really your responsibility to check their stuff, ask them questions and making sure that they've got the fundamental basics from an early point of their career. This is why Brilliant, the sponsor of today's video, is such a great tool for teaching you these basics and fundamentals. Brilliant is a website that teaches you key concepts of maths and science, a perfect introduction to engineering problems. The great thing about Brilliant is you learn by doing. Everything is visual, which can make learning concepts so much easier. If you are one of these people that are better at visual learning, like myself, then Brilliant can certainly help you. Brilliant covers the STEM subjects, so it's perfect for a wide range of people who are at a different level of their education. To try everything Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days, please visit brilliant.org slash everydaydaz. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. I will also put the link down in the video description below. I want to thank Brilliant for supporting my channel and thanks again for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers.